The 22nd Golden Rooster and 100 Flowers Film Festival opened in Wuhan on Wednesday night. Austerity measures at this year's festival are resulting in an unusually plain event, as Xia Xue reports. <laughs> The 22nd Golden Rooster and 100 Flowers Film Festival has opened in Wuhan, the capital city of central China's Hubei province. No star-studded festival gala show, no celebrity endorsement. Even the opening ceremony lasted only 30 minutes. It's true festival, but it also guarantees the quality of the movies and actors nominated, so I think it's a good one. I'm so glad to be here. My film was nominated for one of the prizes. It was a co-production from China and Russia. Hope we can win. Considered to be China's top film awards event, the gala has the longest history and the greatest influence in the country. As part of the festival, organizers launch a series of cultural activities each year including screenings of Chinese and foreign films, a microfilm competition, and academic seminars. This year, some folk art and craft exhibitions were held. Intangible cultural heritage, including Han embroidery, egg drawing, and paper and wood cutting, attracted movie stars from across the country. Not only did the movie stars come to attend the cultural activities, the local residents have also been attracted to here, so the festival helps to promote the Chinese film culture. There are 219 films nominated for the Golden Rooster Awards this year, competing for 18 prizes in a four-day event. Four film directors were nominated for the Best Director Award, including veteran filmmakers Feng Xiaogang and Hong Kong director Peter Chan and Ka Wei Wang. Many believe the actress Zhang Ziyi and Zhang Jingchu and actor Huang Xiaoming and Zhang Guoli are most likely to win. As a national film festival, the event this year is not as grand as previous years, but it has a great quality and gives a positive energy. This is not my first time attending the festival. This year's is most impressive. Actually, I'm a drama actor. I sometimes star in some movies as well. I think the festival will be a success. The Golden Rooster and Hundred Flowers Film Festival was once regarded as China's most official film festival. But it's been losing support in recent years. More people are looking to other awards, such as the Shanghai International Film Festival. Many are questioning if the event can attract audiences. So how can organizers gain audience appeal while keeping down costs? Thrift is definitely a buzzword of this year's Golden Rooster and Hundred Flowers Film Festival. The committee followed the principle of thrift advocated by central government. The local residents hope that the activities won't use too much public funds, while at the same time that they can enjoy an interesting film festival. Xia Ruixu, CCTV, Wuhan, Hubei Province.